Hey, <coughs> excuse me. Hey, everybody, it's the next day, the next morning. It is so beautiful. It's perfect. Anyway, so everything is where it was when I left. And our friend, one of our friends that was watching the place, uh, did a great job. And what he actually did was, is use a rake and smooth out the land so when he came, he'd know if people were here trespassing. So, um, anyway... That's where Carla would be, but she is in warmer weather. It's pretty chilly here, and it's nice for me. I love it, but uh, yeah, so there was a visitor at the lake all night. So, and that's fine, it's a public area, but once you turn on the streets here, it's uh, private, so. Anyway, so I just unloaded a lot of stuff from my car, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I have to go to the post office to see if I got a couple packages. Um, I'm getting a system that's going to record the outdoor activity and I can't wait to put it on and it can also hook to my phone. So that's great. I just have to hook up my hotspot that I have or the extra phone I have, you know, I could do that and use it as Wi-Fi. So or hotspot. Oh man. Oh yeah. Here's my panel. It's by Sun Power. It's a. Let's see. Three hundred and twenty-seven watt panel. So that's a two hundred and eighty watt panel. So when I put them together, they'll just be two eighty, two eighty. So, the 327 will go down to the 280. Anyway, so, I was thinking of just do, putting them angle for now. Because the sun is so low in the sky. And then I could just adjust them per the sun. Anyway, I gotta go do some errands. So... What is that? Oh, a blackbird? Cool. Okay, gotta go. See you soon. It's another day, another dollar. I gotta work later, but I wanted to show you. The sun. No, just kidding. Uh, so I got my panel hooked up. And there they are. They're doing great. Oh my gosh, I love them. So that's the old one that was on Frankie. And it was on Frankie's roof there. Which is covered. <laughs> and then that one's sitting right there. So we're gonna get some rain and heavy winds. And I'm hoping that they'll stay right there. And also, remember I was telling you, I was waiting for my new water heater, so here it is. So, this one is doing great. Uh, what I've been doing is just unscrewing this and draining the water uh, before nighttime. So, it's working great so far. Um... I will be getting a water heater enclosure 
It's actually for a home round water heater, but it's going to be perfect for this area. The propane tank can go right inside and that can stay right there and it has a vent on the top and some vents in the door. So maybe put a little insulation on the sides or something and uh, yeah. So it's beautiful today. I have the moringas in the sun. There you go. I need to fix up my cables here before tomorrow evening. It's going to start raining. So, um, oh yeah, this is what I, I got. I have pieces of this stuff. Cord mate. So it like hides the cords like that. So I'm gonna cut small pieces and uh, like put a piece right there or maybe up higher. And then I want, see up here, I have those lines going in the, up there. I wanna do that with these. I wanna put a line or a hole right up in there and it'll go right in and then just seal up that hole so right now I just it looks very ghetto I don't like it so I have it on right now I could show you sorry the place is a huge mess I am trying to reorganize I don't have my mom living with me although my mom never cleaned my stuff she had me do it myself because that's what kids do once they learn how to clean their rooms. They have to do it themselves. So, anyway, so this is the system I got in the mail as well. I was, uh, I, I did a little unboxing thing, but I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to show it because it was real boring. Anyway, so I got everything set up here and, uh, it's awesome. I love it. Sorry for the sniffles. I just woke up not too long ago. But I love this. Like I could double click. And I can actually zoom in on a spot. So if I want to zoom in. Let's see. Mm, how about right here. So it's not very clear but I could still zoom in and then whoops sorry I'm just learning this thing <laughs> so I'm about to go adjust this one so basically here's the front door you're going around the house around the back of the house around the side of the house so front side back side I want to adjust this so the horizon is level, like this. And that one's not as level, but it's okay. That one's good. And I could see, you know, movement coming in. I could see if people are trying to come in here. And then also the corner over here, that's where Carla would be. And uh, I could see if anyone pulls in here and then goes down that road so I'm gonna go adjust that and yeah I'll be right back okay let's see what happened oh that definitely looks better <laughs> before I was like uh you know it was like sideways anyway so I might just adjust it so the horizon is a little bit further up on this side and then I should be good to go. Maybe point it down just a tad. And then, yeah. But I love it. I love this thing. And they also sent these stickers. And it even has Spanish, Espanol. So everybody can understand in these parts. Anyway. There's outside. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, peeps. Thank you so much 
for being with me on this journey. I am so happy to be homesteading off-grid. It's amazing. If you ever have any questions, um, you can email me, ChristopherTravels at gmail.com. Um, and if you're someone who is traveling or whatever, and uh, you come through I-10 and see the word Wilcox and are thirsty or something or hungry, come to Safeway. Maybe I'll be working that day. <laughs> Just come ask for Christopher in the bakery, and uh, I'd love to say hi. I already had a couple people do that, and it was amazing. Uh, it was so cool meeting people, and, you know, I miss my buddy Carla. Uh, Mummy and Clyde, she's out west. I haven't heard from her, I guess. I'm not much of a phone person, and I think maybe she was like, okay, I'll leave him alone. So, but I haven't heard a peep out of her in about three days. So, um, I was on, um, RV Rebel Girls chat last night and, um, she's doing great. She got her solar, she's getting her solar done and stuff. Um, but anyway, I do miss her. It's weird coming home just to me, <laughs> but anyway, so thanks for being with me. Everybody live life to the fullest. Like if you have any dreams or anything, I know it's really hard because I've been there, you know, I've depended on a job. I've lived, I've lived paycheck to paycheck my pretty much my whole life and I finally got that breakthrough job that paid me enough to save and then also fired me, <laughs> not fired, We they laid all of us dispatchers off and they gave us a bonus and a severance and I got my vacation pay. So I got all of this money and paid off all my, my stuff and, and paid my insurance and everything up in full and I was able to travel earlier this year after the RTR and it was amazing and then I had enough money you know to see wow there's a piece of land for 400 bucks you know 395 no way let me check this out so I bought it and I think the seller thought it was just, eh, I'm just gonna get rid of this really cheap, you know, people are buying these and they're not going and, you know, because, I mean, it's really, it's kind of rough out here and you have to be off grid. There's no well drilling and then it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars to get electricity here. Any type of plumbing, that's a no-go, that ain't happening. So you're gonna be off grid for sure. And they still have regulations out here. Um, my barn fits within the ex exclusions, which is under 200 square feet. So I'm good to go. And, you know, it's great. I love it. So anyway, I'll be bringing you more stuff as I do it. Man, I really wanted to get, I want to get a um, sliding glass door. Man, I'm really zoomed in. Let's go out here a second. I wanted to get I want to get a sliding glass door so bad. And Home Depot has one for like 400 and something dollars, but all of the glass doors they have the the one I would need would be 72 by 77 and a half, but Everything is like 72 by, or like something by 80. So the height is 80. So maybe I have to um, just take a peek under there to see if I could take off one of the two by fours and uh, 
like maybe they have double stacked two by fours on the top I don't know I just have to check it out see if I can actually make it 72 by 80 because I would love a sliding glass door there that would be amazing and then I could you know because right now this door it's you know not very sealed so when the air comes through really bad up there and around the edges because it's made to be a shed not anything else so yeah anyway now I'll let you guys go I was rambling on again so live life to the fullest I will see you soon bye